Welcome back to the show. It's still Plus Sports and Plus TV Africa. You can catch us on social media at Instagram, on Instagram and on Twitter at Plus TV Africa. And of course, on YouTube, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Plus TV Africa. I've got Maka Ayamo right here on the show. Welcome to the show. Hello. Always a great pleasure to be here. Mm, okay, okay. <laughs> now we're talking about the NBA. Now let's run through some of the results of games that are played early this morning. The Atlanta Hawks lost to the Utah Jazz one 1-1 to 106 points. And the Milwaukee Bucks defeated the LA Lakers. We should talk about that game. 111 to 104 points. San Antonio Spurs defeated Brooklyn Nets 118 to 105 points. And uh, the Clippers lost to Houston Rockets by 122 to 117 points. These games um, over the night were amazing. And uh, I saw a bit of the highlights. And I was like, where did this guy come from, James Harden, and <laughs> the likes. These guys are out of this world. But yeah, running through the results. Yeah, so um, so the Lakers, they dropped to the Bucks. I was, that was an interesting matchup. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Anthony Davis, he was out with the tweak ankle injury, but he came back, um, and he came back strong. Um, had a double-double, 36 points, 10 rebounds. Okay. I wasn't even expecting him to play, but I think they knew that was a big game. So they needed him to come back in. And LeBron, um, triple-double, 12 rebounds, 11 assists, um, 21 points. So it was a monstrous push yeah. um, by, you know, the two great players. But unfortunately, Giannis, who always shows up and shows out, um, had 34 points, 11 rebounds, and 7 assists to push his team over to win. And George Hill with 21 points. I mean, I think this is a matchup that a lot of people are – expecting to see potentially in the finals, you mm. know, with um, the Bucks in the East and the Lakers in the West. The West. Um, they're, they're both topping the charts right now, you know, um, for the top five teams in the yeah. East and the West. So, um, but the Bucks, they, they, they show that they're still powerful. They still, they still have what it takes. So it was a very exciting, interesting game. Mm -hmm. Good that um, AD came back to play, you know, alongside LeBron. But I think for the Lakers, they're seeing now that, you know what, we need a little bit more. We might be scaling through a lot of games. But playoffs is a whole different game. Mm -hmm. It's completely different from regular season. regular season. So I think for them, they're learning from these games on what we need to tighten up and what we need to get better at if we truly want to win a championship um, this this season. So mm -hmm. I, I love the matchup. I thought it was really exciting. Um, I'm, I'm happy that um, you know, the Milwaukee Bucks was able to pull it out against uh, the Lakers. Now, looking at uh, some of the games that will be going down uh, tonight, uh, we have the Golden State Warriors against the New Orleans Pelicans. Can a miracle happen for the Golden State Warriors? Yeah, I mean, the Pelicans are... I mean, they're doing okay, mm. but I think it's definitely something the Warriors, they, they need this win, you know. Yeah. They've had a couple of losses, so I think this is definitely a winnable game for mm -hmm. them. Um, and then, you know, last night we saw the um, monstrous game by the Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets, yeah. Yeah, against the Clippers. You know, when um, Russell West Westbrook joined James Harden, everyone was like, oh, how are two ball hogs going to mm -hmm. be able to play together? <laughs> what are they going to do? You know, this one's going to want to take the last shot. Another person's going to want to take the last shot. But I think they're starting to find their groove yeah, they understand and, each and other. working with each other. Um, and I actually would have thought the Clippers would have won that game. But really? Yeah, I mean, the Clippers, I mean, they've been okay. Yeah. They've had some losses that I think we know they could have won. But, um, you know, Russell, Russell Westbrook had 10 rebounds, 40 points last night, double-double. James Harden with 10 assists and 28 points, another double-double. So they really, you can see Harden had the assists and not as many points but yeah. still put up good numbers, 28 points. And then um, Kawhi Leonard with 25 points, Paul George with 34 points and nine rebounds. So mm. even from the Clippers' side, they had a pretty decent game. Um, and it was a close one, but I think the Clippers have to figure out what they need to do yeah. to win those close games and mm. play in some of the more challenging teams. So, mm. But, I mean, well done from both sides, um, I, it looks like. But, you know, Houston, they're always – doing pretty good in regulation and then 
come to the playoffs and they yeah. drop the ball somehow. So it'll be interesting to see with um, Westbrook on the team now what mm -hmm. they can do in the playoffs. Mm. All right, interesting analysis are coming from Maka talking about the world of basketball, the NBA to be precise. But we'll have enough time to talk about this next week. And there's a lot of stuff going down in the NBA talking about the trades now. So for next week, I would give it more time and we'll run analysis on the trades and the games that are going down this today and probably over the weekend. Exactly. Thank you very much, Maka, <laughs> Thanks for, for coming. Having me. All right, uh, that's it. Uh, well, we wrap today's show. I hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Uh, my name is Udoka Njoku. Thank you, Maka. And of course, uh, uh, Ifaka was here earlier to give us analysis on, on some, some of the stories that we talked about on the show. Well, keep it locked down to Plus TV Africa. We'll give you the best when it comes to TV programming. Do enjoy your weekend and have a great day. <laughs>